been a while since I've done a video about a Street Fighter character. Well, a lot of the Street Fighter characters are superhuman, obviously, right? Just based on my past video, another being that's superhuman, a great fighter is Cody. But he's also not afraid to fight dirty, use weapons, or use knives, dirt. For all puns, intents, and purposes, a Street Fighter, right? <laughs> but how strong are we talking? Imagine being so addicted to fighting and street fighting that you get in trouble because you're starting street fights. He also got framed for something he didn't do. He was considered a hero. He's in and out of jail. He was one of the three heroes who liberated Metro City from the Mad Gear Gang alongside his buddies Guy and Mayor Mike Hagar. He rescued his kidnapped girlfriend, Jessica. Cody grew bored of his peaceful life after he helped take down Mad Gear and became directionless ever since. He started getting into random fights and was eventually arrested for assault. He's given up on free life and feels his prison uniform has begun to suit him. That's Cody for you. Seriously, why isn't this guy the main character again? He actually street fights, kicking dust at you. And even hitting you with a pole or pipe. You probably think these effects are an exaggeration, but notice how when he punches you, he makes a tornado. If other Street Fighter people didn't so superhuman stuff, I wouldn't have taken this seriously, but this I take seriously. Street Fighter seems like to be similar to anime. You can train your way up to superhuman levels. You know you're a superhuman fighter when you can lift up beings that weigh over 500 pounds, like Abigail. And yes, his weight is confirmed to be that heavy 265 kilograms. You're probably thinking that's a game mechanic. I agree, it probably is a game mechanic and anybody can throw anybody no matter the weight on this game. But since we've seen him punch and ignite the hydrogen in the air and we've seen him punch with tornadoes, this uh, definitely seems possible. <laughs> I just had to put that in there. Getting he lives in a universe where that people that can split islands in half. So kicking doors or demolishing cars with his bare hands should not seem like an impossible thing. We've seen these characters in the Street Fighter universe do a narrative. Same with phone booths, doors, Grates and barrels, not even oil drums, are saved. Even though he's kind of a street fighter, he does show like some actual fighting art skills, like the way he kicks and boxes people up. What fighting styles did you notice that Cody does? There's implications he can strike faster than your eye can see. Plies here, like, yeah. Punching so fast that his fist ignites the hydrogen in the air, like with flaming fists. Like, phew, the speed you would have to be to catch fire would be at least Mach 5. I mean, we've already seen him make many tornadoes with his punches. His punching speed implies he can punch several times faster than the speed of a bullet, so way past superhuman. And he learned a little bit from Liu Kang. No, I'm just kidding. Different type of bicycle kick here. This guy will hit you with ordinary combos, then pull out the knife on you, then hit you more combos, then mix in the kicks with it even more. One can make an argument when you're this size and weight with this level of super strength, that's why he's fast. Because there's definitely implications he has super strength. Like being able to punch through brick walls like this and just break the cuffs himself. Yeah, you think you got him in jail? Nah, you got him in jail because he can just break out whenever he feels like it. No matter which game, you see him always doing stuff like this no matter which intro. Boom. No walls. Super strength. He escapes his prison all the time, right? Because of his super strength. He's often strong off the bust through 50 centimeter thick concrete cell, wall. Even in comic lore, even if you don't want to count it, it doesn't matter. They still duplicate similar things. Like in comic lore, he was in a fight and he was hand cuffed to a hand railing. You thought this was gonna stop him? He just says, let me just pull the whole thing off. Hilarious, right? Just so he can fight with Ryu, the star. Yeah, you can count this if you want to. There's implications he's up there with some of the best fighters in Street Fighter, the top tiers. Well, he did knock out three bison dolls with one kick. I'm just saying. Cannot beings through thick sheet of glass. Wheelchairs get destroyed. Motorized ones. He seems to have marksmanship-like qualities, like even have accuracy throwing knives. It's part of his moves he always does. Even though a lot of people consider comics and the games to be completely different continuities or universes, it's worth noting at least the stuff he's done in the comic, like stuff I totally think he could do in canon, like disarming beings that have guns. He can just instantly blitz them and take their gun. That's something he could totally do in canon, right? Narratively speaking, I don't see why he shouldn't be able to fight Ryu in base form. Notice how even in comics, you see him with the little tornado stuff, so letting you know it's not just a game mechanic he's just literally this strong there's heavy implications that he seems to be trade to be similar to his buddy like guy because they used to work together and stuff of that such it makes sense for them to be in that same le level of power at least right when it comes to the star ryu i'm obviously going to have to give him the slight edge because he's like the star or whatever but cody i would say definitely can hang with a base ryu and like raw skills and paralysis at least in the strength to some degree with ryu having a slight edge in my personal opinion but then the gap in power gets big when Ryu goes into modes like this to where I think this is leagues above him like that. But, but that's only fair. Like That's like his Super Saiyan demon mode, you know? Considering what Ryu has had to withstand, like fighting Akuma in base, the same Akuma is the same being that was fighting base Ryu, by the way. Ryu with no Satsui no Hado was fighting Akuma. Can punch with so much force so on this island they was fighting on. The island, it's it's disappearing. That's how hard he strike. Ryu was literally fighting against the same Akuma. Yep. 
as Akuma's island disappears. By the way, Ryu was just on this island. He just casually survived that. You know, none of my business. Not counting this one, he was still able to fight a being like this in just raw terms or as an equal to some degree. But Akuma wanted to fight him when he mastered the Satsui no Hado, but yeah. Him making a tornado kind of makes sense when you see them do feats like this, right? Like what Akuma did. But that's none of my business. But if you don't want to give him base Ryu, that's totally understandable. What about characters that are not the main character like Zangief? Would you say he's at least stronger than Zangief physically or as a fighter? Zangief is the same being that wrestled with large bears. Bears. he even effortlessly tossed away a bear that far in the air is it really hard to believe that cody could be stronger than beings like this i mean he can punch and make a tornado he's got to be at least as strong as zangief right lowballing the snot out of him, right zangief even claims he can launch a raging bull and beings like abel zangief can stop the charge of their hits like that other superhuman beings look what zangief did to this law yo just can crush it with its strength so him being as strong as him is fair right but at the same time, all this could be just me. How strong do you think Cody is? Do you think when he punches and makes those tornado to be taken literally? I think it's literal just because they put it in comic books and it's not just a game mechanic, like a drama effect. I think he's really just that superhuman, <laughs> but that could be just me. But I also have to take the time to go ahead and quickly give a shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel. Respect Cody.